It is 614 now and good Sunday morning. Thanks for joining us here on Live at Daybreak, your official Olympic station. And Jess, you've got a picture up here helping us <laughs> to think spring as we endure more cold temperatures. Yeah, because I've got another single digit high temperature on the forecast, but things do get better after that. Not quite butterfly weather, but I thought I'd share this with you to think warm thoughts. Lovely picture sent in by Janelle Pobic. Thanks for sending that in. Send your spring pictures or thinking spring or your winter pictures. If you love the snow, send them to weather at TMJ4.com. We'd love to share them with our viewers. Now we are looking at those snow showers coming to an end. We watched those pretty much exit overnight and really left behind a very fresh blanket of sparkly snow. It looks great. It makes kind of cleans everything up. And now just behind that snow, of course, you know how it goes comes the cold. Here's how many uh, human house. Here's how many uh, inches of snow you were shoveling yesterday or throughout this morning. If you haven't stepped out the door yet, two inches in Williams Bay as well as in Janesville Economy Walk, just around 1.2 inches around Franklin and some of the Milwaukee suburbs picking up about an inch, a little bit lighter amounts around Versine and Hartford and Palmyra, just about three quarters of an inch of snow. Now it has been a really snowy and yes, cold winter and the folks at the National Weather Service doing a lot of record checking 14th coldest so far this year, uh, including January as well as December, the 16th snowiest winter, 18th most amount of days with low temperatures below zero degrees. We've had 22 of them so far, and yes, there are more in the forecast, and it also is the ninth longest with at least one inch of snow cover on the ground. Certainly has been a very strong winter, just not getting hampered by large snow totals, just a lot of snow to or snow hits of small increments. Now actual wind chills right now, if you're stepping out the door, of course it is feeling a little bit cool. F feels like one below in Milwaukee, three below in Waukesha, 10 below right now in Lake Geneva. Our temperatures today, not going to warm up a whole lot, a little bit better than yesterday though, because we'll hit 18 degrees and the sunshine by the end of the day will feel nice. We're going to start off with clouds, but eventually we'll see a bit more of that sunshine as high pressure pushes the clouds away. That is also going to bring down the cold air though, as we head into the overnight hours tonight and into tomorrow. Wind chill advisories for all of Southeast Eastern Wisconsin from midnight tonight to 11 a.m. on Monday, but it will look nice outside. Deceiving sunshine is what we will call it by the time we get to your Monday. For today, though, teens for our temperatures, wind chills in the single digits, a very light wind, which is good. And then tonight, actual air temperatures, three below tonight in Milwaukee, eight below in Waukesha. And again, those wind chills anywhere from 15 to 25 degrees below zero to kick off your Monday morning. So that's why we have wind chill advisories for all of us overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning and we really don't warm up the mercury a whole lot on Monday five only for a high on walk in Waukesha eight degrees in Milwaukee lots of sunshine and a relatively light wind but still it is going to be the coldest day out of the entire 10 day outlook and the good news there is that we can only get better after we dip down to eight below on Monday night. So 12 degrees on Tuesday. Wouldn't be surprised to see another wind chill advisory issued Monday night and into Tuesday morning. And then we'll eventually see some light snow on Wednesday as the temperatures warm into the 20s. 31 on Thursday. First time we've seen 30s since uh, January 30th. And then we even have more 30s. And yes, that is a 40 next Tuesday. Here's Daybreak Sports.